let's look at the operation and setup of the mobile power unit. The mobile power unit provides electrical power to your pump and echoes any active alarms from your system controller. To set it up, first inspect it for dents, chips, cracks, or other signs of damage. Do not use the mobile power unit if it appears to be damaged. Place the mobile power unit on a flat, sturdy surface. With the yellow side up, insert the female end of the power cord into the mobile power unit. Pull back on the power cord to ensure a secure connection. Then plug the power cord into an electrical outlet. Never use an adapter, power strip, or wall outlet controlled by a light switch. When the mobile power unit is initially connected to power, it automatically performs a self-test. At the completion of the self-test, the green power on light remains lit, indicating it is ready for use. If it doesn't, try another outlet. If any of the lights or audio tones are missing during the self-test, or the green power on light does not come on, do not use the device as it may be defective. Call your VAD coordinator or hospital contact person. To connect the system controller to the mobile power unit, attach the white system controller power cable connector to the white mobile power unit patient cable connector, and then attach the black system controller power cable connector to the black mobile power unit patient cable connector. Always connect white to white and black to black. 